Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Do you have any off the grid plans? No, I'm not talking about living off grid to where, you know, you have solar power and, you know, your own water supply and all that. I'm talking about off the grid, meaning that you just, you just kind of disappear. Do you have plans for that? You know, where you, 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 you do the last bugging out, that kind of stuff. If you don't, you probably should start working on that because there's so much stuff going on. I think we're, we're getting close to the time where a lot of people are gonna say goodbye to society and go completely off the grid. And I talked this morning about what old Joe Biden was saying about, man, there is a ton of spider webs out here. I'm covered in them, covered in spider webs. Little orb weavers are everywhere. Anyways, um, talked this morning about Joe Biden and his, his little uh, statement of that they're already working on uh, a, a, new, a new thing and some mandates. I um, saw today that the VA hospitals and clinics, they're reinstating this. A lot of places are. I mean, there's mosquitoes out here everywhere. Um, it's getting close. And we better get serious. Uh, saw some people, doctors and stuff that, that kind of work in that area, make statements that they were leaving the country. I don't know where they're going. I don't know if there's any other place to go that's better or that's less of this kind of stuff. But I think the day is coming pretty soon where we're gonna start seeing some pretty serious, there's another big old, big old spider web here. Um, we're going to start seeing this stuff happen. Uh, we've been warning about it. We've been hearing about it for the last few years. They've been building the infrastructure. Remember, what we all went through three years ago or so was just a beta test. We're, we're now about to see the real stuff getting put into place. We're about to see what they've been building behind the scenes, the technology, the Bill Gates and the Microsoft and, and the UN and the World Economic Forum, what they have been building up and, and fixing and tweaking and, and getting all the kinks and the bugs worked out. We're about ready to see it. The United Nations has been pushing uh, a lot of countries, all countries, uh, to go with a, a digital, oh, a digital thing, you know, where, where you have to have the digital and the thing so that you can do things. You, you understand the language here, right? Understand the, the little code talk. Several, many, dozens of countries are already doing it. Most of Europe is doing it. Uh, and there's a lot of pressure on America to do it. And it's going to happen. Uh, we're seeing lots of companies, hospitals and stuff start to reinstate things. A lot of hype. Uh, a lot of weird stuff going on. My goodness, that's a big web right there. Um, did you see that Hungary, troops from Hungary, touched down in Hawaii? Yeah, they're bringing temporary housing to the victims of the fires in Maui. So we have a foreign nation, which is, they're acting under the United Nations. I mean, that's how it works. And so they're, they're on U.S. soil. Well, where's FEMA? Where's our government at? There's rumors, I can't confirm, but there's rumors that the United Nations peacekeepers and people like that have been working up in Canada. They're in, but those wildfires up there, come on, get off of me. I don't have anything on me that you want. There we go. Um, that's probably the, the mosquito culprit right there. That's some nasty looking water. Things are building up quick, folks. And I think that some people have gotten a little comfortable because over the past 6 to 12 months, things have seemed to kind of kind of toned down. There's been all these other things that's distracted us, you know, trains and explosions and fires and shootings and which they're legitimate stuff. It's legitimate things. It's keeping us all hyped up, but it's also keeping us distracted from what's going on behind the scenes. And I can't promise you all these things are going to happen, but I can tell you that 
all these elites, all these people that are running the world have been warning about it. I mean, Bill Gates has been out there for two or three years saying, hey, the next one's going to be bad news. Uh, the Klaus Schwabs and all those people, they've all been saying it, okay? So it's, uh, it's not my words. I'm just repeating it. I'm just telling you what they've been saying. Most of you know what they've been saying. So the question again is, do you have a off the grid plan? Do you have a plan to say, all right, I'm out of here. What does that look like for you? I don't know. Does that mean you come out in these kind of woods and you just take up shop somewhere? Do you have grandma and grandpa's farm that you go to? You have a piece of property you've already bought and been developing? I don't know, do you just lock yourself in your house? You better have a plan because it's gonna come down to it one of these days, probably sooner than you think, that you go to the grocery store. I mean, have you seen what they're doing? They already have where you just scan your palm. Spider webs all over me. You scan your palm and they let you in. Uh, some of the Aldi's you have to scan to come in the store, scan to buy stuff, scan to leave. All that stuff is infrastructure that's being set up, folks. And at some point, you're gonna go to the grocery store and you go to walk in and they're gonna like, no, 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 you have to have this digital passport thingy. You have to have all your records, make sure that you're clean, that you're up to date and boosted. And if you don't have that, sorry, you can't come in. Oh, well, you don't want that? Well, you know, you can, you can you know, go to the, to the FEMA camp and be locked up in quarantine. Remember what they were doing all over the country, all over the world, in Australia, um, China? That's going to come here. We've got all these illegals pouring into the country by the millions and millions. And they're building all kinds of infrastructure for them. It'll be used for us, too. Um, during the, the whole lockdown thing before, um, it was reported out of mainstream, it was Newsweek. Newsweek magazine reported an interview that Jill Biden was really pushing for Australian style lockdowns. It's gonna happen, folks. It's gonna happen, you better be ready for it. You better have your tribe, your crew ready. You better be stocked up. Uh, some of your stockpiles may have gotten depleted. I know a lot of you went out in the last two or three years and you're really stocked up. Some of you have been eating on it because you're supposed to. You don't just stock up and leave it set for 20 years. You use it and you replenish it, but maybe you haven't been replenishing it because prices are, have gone up. Stuff's expensive. It's expensive to replenish it now. Three or four years ago, you went out and you put $200 into preps at the grocery store and you got quite a bit. Now, not so much. So you need to be replenishing your stockpiles. You need to be coming up with a plan of how you're gonna avoid all this because it's gonna get that way. You're not gonna be able to go to the doctor you know, you're not going to be able to do a lot of things if you don't have the, the proper paperwork, please. Better make sure you have your defensive tools lined up, your self-sufficiency tools lined up, your food, your medical, your medicine. You better make sure you have your, your crew, your team, your tribe, and they have a plan. Because I don't think we're too far off from needing to put that plan into action. So you better have your off the grid plan. You know, how extreme that is, that's up to you. I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to run your business. Some of you, off the grid means off the grid. Some of you can, can do it. Some of you have, you know, better finances than others. I get it. Um, but whatever your, your idea is that you're working on, your plan, you better start revisiting it making sure it's pretty solid. Maybe you can do a dry run or some type of test. Make sure you're stocked up because it's not too far away. Uh, Federal Emergency Management, um, FEMA, announced that October 4th, they're doing a nationwide emergency alert drill. All your cell phones are gonna go off, your TVs, your radios. That's interesting. You know, every time there's been some kind of major event over the last decade or two, it's always happened surprisingly and strangely at the same time that they're doing some kind of drill. 9-11. 9-11 happened while they were doing a drill on <laughs> someone hitting the, 
hitting the towers. Uh, Sandy Hook, all the police were on the other side of town at an old school doing training for an active shooter. Boston bombing. Uh, all of it. You can just go right down through it. And so we're going to do a, a nationwide drill on October 4th. I don't know. Maybe it's nothing. Could be. Maybe it's all a coincidence. Maybe we're just, maybe we're just, we got the tin foil on too tight. Or maybe there's something to it. Maybe you should be taking things more seriously. Maybe you've, you've slacked off a little bit. You've tried to enjoy life for the last six to 12 months because the 24 months prior to that was awful for some of you. Maybe it's tough now because you're making less money and things are more expensive. Either way, you better be taking things pretty serious. And you better be working on your plan. Your plan to, to bug out. Your plan to lock down. Your plan to go off the grid. Because I think we're getting pretty close to the day when those plans need to be put into action. You need to be getting your training done. You need to be going over your equipment. Your, your team, your crew, your tribe. They need to be coming up with a pretty solid plan, working on your comms, working on your medical, uh, working on not just radio communications, but other types of communications. Um, need to be working on how you're going to move around, maybe back roads, trails, low, knowing your, your terrain. Because it's possible, I can't guarantee you this, but it's possible that we're about ready to get the full brunt floor force hit. A lot of people are speculating that may be the case. And we could all be wrong, but it doesn't hurt to get yourself ready. You need to be stocking up, training up, praying up, planning, prepping up, all of it. Because I think hard times are literally right around the corner. And they've got the CBDC ready to just roll out, you know. They've already got the infrastructure done on that. They've been running tests the last few months. Several different banks and Western Union and all of those have been testing how it will work. We've been testing it with inner, uh, you know, between two different countries. They've already done run those tests and it all worked great. Uh, we've got bricks popping its ugly head and getting bigger, so we got to do something. It's just everything's starting to converge, right? And there's still people out there that are just asleep. There's still people out there that just think, well, it's not quite the time yet. And you may be right, but I'm not in a place that I want to risk it. Because I've seen what they're doing, and I've seen what they're capable of. And we need to be getting ready, folks. Get your houses in order. Start and continue. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. Don't, don't become stagnant. Don't become burned out. Get yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually prepared. Because, I mean, do I have to really explain it? It's right around the corner. You need to get ready for it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.